nature doesn't have waste. It's a perfect example of a closed loop system. And I don't see why a house should be any different to this. I think the thing about Yost is that he's so idealistic and he's so fearless. He just says, here's this massive, bold vision, and then he gets to work on it. My goal is to build a house like no one's ever seen before. It's its own closed system. He's not making architecture. He's building a system to live within. The incredible thing about the greenhouse is that it doesn't use concrete footings. Instead, it uses soil on the roof to weigh the building down. If you can't recycle it or if it's toxic, we can't use it. And that rules out about 95% of building materials. Well, I'm a bit of a sucker for straw. And there's 100 million farmers that produce it every year. And yet we're cutting down trees for toilet paper. I just can't believe that these batteries are from World War II and you know, you're still using them today. I reckon it's a game changer. Plants help cool the house and through photosynthesis, turn it into food for the occupants. We're just gonna build this house and then move in and just make a modern urban cuisine out of food that's grown on a house in the middle of the city. Oi, white oyster going in, the mushroom wall. So we use crickets as a source of protein. Then we've got our flow hive. Liquid gold. I walked in and I could smell that there was something out of balance. It wasn't right. It's quite a stressful situation. Who knew that doing the correct thing would actually be so difficult? Let's change our urban areas, our cities, our houses, our buildings to food systems. Once you start to do one or two things, it just becomes infectious and you just do the next thing and, you know, in a short matter of time, you can actually be making a really big difference. Being a part of a system, it's reliant on you and you're giving back to it and it gives to you and it's a very fulfilling project. Tiger Nut ice cream. We've got people all over the world following the project. This is so unique. It's already becoming the catalyst for change. I view the building like a dandelion. We've planted a dandelion, and when it flowers, its seeds go everywhere. It doesn't matter how big the dream is, you can actually make it real. And that's really what Greenhouse is about.